Hello there, Ron Legrand here. And in case you don't know who I am, I have been buying and selling houses for the last 36 years and have taught hundreds of thousands of people to do the same thing. Some people call me uh, Moses, some people call me the Godfather, some people call me other stuff. But I've been around long enough to know that there's a lot of money in real estate, so I'm gonna discuss on this video some key tricks to wholesaling houses, which is how I got my first check back in 1982. Wholesaling is nothing more than putting a property under contract and flipping that contract to someone else and getting a check. You never own the house, you never have to raise capital, there's no loans involved, your credit is totally irrelevant. It's a fast, easy way to make money. Wholesaling has been done before I, got, I came along and I've done at least a thousand of them and I still do a few of them every year to this very day. So the key is, is actually where to find these wholesale deals today because the big difference between today's business of wholesaling and yesterday's was, is FISBO versus MLS. So let me explain. Today in our hot market, if you're looking in the MLS system and looking at listed properties, you have a lot of competition. Therefore, the prices are being driven up. All the television shows, the flip shows, and the so-called reality shows are bringing a lot of people into the industry totally untrained and they will pay more for a property than they should. So they're going to go to the seminar of the school of the hard knocks paying too much for the property. So the MLS draws all of those folks because it's easy to find those deals in the MLS. The problem is they're not deals. So the prices have gone up to the point to where lately I can't buy anything out of the MLS. Oh, I can, but it's a real hunt. And so the key here is to adapt with the times. And if we get into the world of for sale by owners, we don't have the problems we have with the MLS. Number one, very little competition. Number two, you don't need a, a um, proof of funds like you do with the MLS. Uh, number three, you get to make the rules instead of having the realtors and the uh, banks and lenders uh, making the rules for you. So we're looking for properties that are owned by individuals that are not in the MLS. Huge difference, huge difference. I mean, difference between night and day if you just switch your target to find these deals. So how would you go about finding these deals? Well, actually, there's quite a few ways, and I'll put a few of them up here on the board right now. Uh, one is what we call bandit signs. I know you've seen them out beside the road. That's a sign on a stick or a wire rack that just says, I buy houses with someone's phone number on it. Now, the good news is they work. They always have. I started using them in the early 80s, still use them occasionally today. Bad news is they're probably a little bit on the illegal side. So if you're going to use bandit signs, you're probably going to get a call from the city sooner or later. And also they're going to come out missing very, very quickly. Still have some students doing it, most certainly not required, but it is your decision whether you want to put them out or not. Again, they do work. You stick them around in places where you want to buy houses. And I'm going to come to where you want to buy houses here in a minute. Number two, run ads. Of course, today you're going to run them online, so they're free. So free ads are free, they don't cost you anything. Now you can either run these ads on all the websites like uh, old Zillow and Craigslist and a, a numerous list of others and get sellers to call you. Now I can tell you for sure, anytime you can get a seller to call you, it's gonna be a lot easier seller to work with than one that you have to chase. When you're uh, running out bad signs, they call you. So when you're running these ads and they don't need to say any more than I buy houses, cash, any condition with your phone number on them. That's all they need to say. It's not about making a brilliant ad, it's about getting that ad out there and keeping it out there. Now we have a whole floor of virtual assistants that'll do that for you and keep those ads current if you don't want to do it yourself. But if you want to start and start running these ads, then run the ads. Now in time, we'll talk about where to make the call go and get the incoming calls out of your life and do it the correct way. But for the sake of this video, if you just run the ads and get the sellers to call you, that'll suffice to get you to your first or your next wholesale deal. Then of course we can put flyers out in the neighborhood. Flyers that say like, I buy houses, uh, all cash, any condition, and, and, and whatever else you wanted to say. In fact, um, I put out many flyers on one side that said I buy houses, and on the other side it says you want a house for sale. Because we, when we, when, when we uh, buy these properties and, uh, and renovate them, sometimes we lease option them to tenant buyers, so I'm looking for tenant buyers and um, uh, accomplish the same two goals with one flyer. Now the cool thing about these flyers is that you can get the post office to put them out for you. Go to usps.com, UnitedStatesPostalService.com, and look up every door direct. 
and for about 18, 18 and a half cents, they will print and distribute these flyers to a whole area for you. You'll find that the areas are listed are right there on their site, so you can pick the, the uh, mailing area that you want and uh, put as many flyers as you want into that area. And it's a really inexpensive way to distribute these flyers. As you know, you certainly can't mail flyers for 18 and a half cents. Postage costs you much more than that. Then there's yellow letters. Now, we created this yellow letter thing about 20 years ago now, right here in this building, and it has become a national phenomenon. Uh, everybody in the industry knows about yellow letters. Unfortunately, most people are totally misusing them because they haven't been well trained on them. Yellow letters is a hand written, uh, hand, uh, what looks like a handwritten letter in what uh, looks like a hand addressed envelope. Neither are true, they're computer generated. Uh, with a real live stamp on it, with a flap tucked in, and just a one page yellow letter inside that looks like it's handwritten with the address of the house in it. Now, good news is they work. Bad news is they cost money. It's going to cost you about a dollar and ten cents to get these letters done and mailed, and we have a lady who does that all for you. Uh, but I, truthfully, I don't want you doing the yellow letters because the, honestly, it doesn't take much to, 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 to make a mess out of them. Most people using the yellow letters have not been properly trained. They get, uh, sometimes they don't get very good results because it just takes one teeny weeny little mistake, one thing that you do wrong with the yellow letter campaign and, it, it, and it's worthless to you. So put that on your list of can do after you get trained on it. In fact, if you'll go to our Gold Club and join our Gold Club, there's some training on there on how to use your yellow letters. That's ronsgoldclub.com, but I got a better place for you to go here in just a minute because I'm going to give you a really, really uh, cool offer here in just a second. And then lastly is FISBO signs. That's the signs you see in front of people's houses that say for sale by owner. Now, of course, that means they're not listed. So we have a whole system to where we have people ride around and look for these FISBO signs for us. And then we have uh, somebody call and get the information on this property information sheet here, which uh, you can find at ronlebrand.com forward slash FISBO, F-S-B-O, along with a 27 minute video on how to, get, how to get this thing filled out and why. When we get this sheet filled out, we have the information on the house. And that information will tell us whether this is a house that's better off for wholesaling, uh, just flipping because it needs work, or better off for a terms deal because it doesn't, and we can uh, take over the seller's debt or buy it with owner financing or lease option from the seller. That's a whole nother seminar right there. So by doing all of these things here, we find deals of all types. Some need work and some don't. But the key is, is where you're looking. Um, if you're looking to buy properties that need rehab, your smartest move is to stay down low. You're going to find very few properties in the really cool neighborhoods where you want to live. Wherever you find the school districts are hot, and the market is extremely hot in that pocket of town, you're not going to find the kind of deals that you're going to flip the wholesalers because the owner occupants uh, and others will simply pay way more than you can pay for them. You cannot compete with owner occupants if you're trying to buy properties cheap. Now to buy them cheap, they probably need extensive repairs. And once they need extensive repairs, that's when you're going to be, uh, go in and, and uh, make an offer on them that makes sense using math and I'm going to give you a course here in a minute to teach you all of this, how to do this step by step. But remember this, stay down low. That's where the deals are. Here in Jacksonville, our, uh, our uh, median price house is $185,000. I haven't wholesaled a house in a long time that would be worth more than about 135 or 140 after repaired. Now that's the after repaired value. So many of the houses that I wholesale are worth well below 100, even though my median price is 185. So relate that to your marketplace. Go down to the cheap houses in the cheap neighborhoods, the not so good neighborhoods. You simply won't find these deals in the good neighborhoods. So you gotta go into the not so good neighborhoods. Most of the properties you flip are gonna go to investors. They'll, they'll buy and rehab the properties in the not so good neighborhoods because they know that's where they're gonna get the deals today anyway. And incidentally, don't do one of these for less than $10,000. You need to net $10,000 or you're paying too much or selling it too cheap or both. Just remember, get down in the lower priced markets. Now you can target those markets with many of these things you're looking at. Put the bandit signs in the areas you want to target. Running ads, you're going to get what you get. Flyers, you're targeting your market. 
yellow letters. You're targeting your market. Looking for FISBO signs and have others doing it for you. You're targeting your market. And that's the key. Target the low end markets. Now, if you want to learn how to do this wholesale business and learn from the, the, probably the, the, the uh, best qualified guy on the planet, that would be me, then I got a deal for you. Go down below and you'll see a link. On that link, you can get my entire all day wholesaling course for $1. That's right, $1 and you'll get it immediately. So as soon as you fill in the information, you'll get the link and you can download that entire course. That's a $500 gift for you. Now there's a little catch. The catch is you've got to join the Gold Club for a free 30-day trial. Well, the Gold Club is only $59 a month if you choose to stay in it, and it is just absolutely loaded with goodies for you. It is the best bargain in real estate today. The Gold, uh, Gold Club has got all my forms and agreements, it's got a couple of hundred hours worth of training modules on all kinds of subjects like the yellow letter and a lot of others. Uh, it's, it's, it's got a forum where you can communicate with other investors on it and it, it is just a magnificent resource. But even more importantly, every single day you're actually going to get dropped into your inbox for sale by owner leads that our scouring service that scours 1,700 websites collects every single day in the two counties you choose, all for $59 a month. And there's a bunch of other things like a newsletter dropped in your mailbox every single month and a CD every month and so forth. However, go there now because this offer is going to be very limited. It's only cost you a dollar. You have no obligation and it's $59 a month if you want to stay and you can get out at any time. Uh, no long-term arrangement. So go down and get that offer right now and let me teach you how to be the whole, do the wholesale business correctly and, 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 and let's see if we can't get you out there getting your first check for $10,000 or more within the next 30 to 60 days. So take me up on the offer right now before we take it down.